Wow. I feel like I've been violated. Man, did I ever spend a lot of money. So the seed guys just dropped off all the seed, our herbicide, and our fertilizer. Ouch. That hurts. Let's get to it. So I've been doing a lot of research on Farmers Business Network. Uh, I've been trying to figure out what uh, brand seeds I'm going to plant and what style will work for this uh, area here. So I got a plenty of stuff, plenty of companies here. I got Channel Seed in the back over here, Stein here. I got uh, what is this? Uh, G Venture hybrid corn seed. I also got some Pioneer, which are the expensive seed. I don't have that here yet, but I also have a few pellets coming in for that. So we got some fertilizer here, and we got some herbicide. Man, did that hurt. But now it's all loaded. Uh, we did get all our tillage done. So we did all of our spring tillage in... Well, we did all of our tillage in the spring, basically. We did nothing in the fall, so we didn't get none of that done. So I did end up hooking up. So I did pick up this uh, John Deere 980. So pretty good little cultivator, I think. So I'm going to be using this on our 4440, our open station here. Beautiful 4440, but... Uh, we're going to be using this. I'm going to get my cousin started on uh, cultivating some of these fields so we can get into planting right away. Also, I need to hook up the planter. So the goal is to hopefully get into the field today. So, man, there's so much to do. What should I do first? Hmm, I think I'll go get my cousin started first on cultivating so that way I can hopefully uh, get into the field later on today and plant. Let's see if this old girl will start. Wow, yeah. Sounds good. That's a 7.6 liter diesel. Good old inline six cylinder. I think we're gonna start right behind the house over here so you probably remember we uh, I filmed some of that uh, deep tillage over there I think I'm gonna try to sneak by the on the side here I think I can get through these trees with this uh, cultivator let's see Not looking too promising right now. I thought I could get through here. Mm. Oh, do I want to change that? I think we might break off some limbs, but we're going to go under it. Good thing we don't have a cab. Ooh, that is tight. Looks like we made it all right here. A little bouncy back there, aren't you? Calm down. I'll let you in the ground there. Uh oh. Does 4440 have it in it? Come on. So, I think I'm going to do a little bit here just to see, make sure we got the right depth. Man, I really... This 4440 should pull this, but it is just spinning, I mean, like crazy. Look at the wheels. I don't think I have enough weight on it or something. I don't know. This might not be good. I was hoping to use this 4440 would work for tillage. It's struggling. 
Maybe it's just because of this hillside here. It wants to do it. I just don't think it has the the weight. It doesn't have the junk in the trunk to get it up the hill. Getting a little bit. Oh, we. Looks like we're going all right. I mean, uh, I was really hoping this uh, this would work for basically tillage tractor, but starting to question it right now. Might have to look into getting something. I don't know. But that's probably another day. Okay, we'll start in here. Oh, here comes my cousin. Driving like crazy. Alright, I guess uh, I'll let her take this off. Uh, I got a lot of stuff to do anyway, so... Not for sure she's gonna stop. Oh, where are you going? Alright, there she takes off. Hoping... She's really turning up that soil. Looks like she's turning in all that, uh, what we covered up there when we're deep tilling. Uh, I didn't tell her this, but I'm going to take her truck back. She's just going to have to deal with it, I guess. Uh-oh, it's going to start. Oh, there we go. Yep. All right, so we got to take this back. I need to go to the John Deere dealership. So there's a few items I need to look at. Drive in here. Oh, I need to put some of my equipment away too. So that's another thing we got to do. Probably leave this parked right over here. So it's not in the way. All right. I think I'm gonna put this uh, old 4640, or I mean, oh, man, going crazy, 4620 diesel. I'm gonna park it with the chisel back here. Let's see if this old girl will start. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, gotta let it idle out first. There we go. Probably park this over by our disc. All right, should be all right to not drive into the fence. I think I'm just gonna park this right into our building here. And back her up. Looking good there. 4620 man that's a good running tractor man is that high for high boy almost just scoot over under there on my knees pretty nice so now I need to unhook our beast this is our work beast actually I need to pressure wash it off first just because I don't like looking at it so I'll bring need to wash this chisel off before we put it away. See if this starts. Alright, that starts up. Alright, we'll raise this up. There we go, now it's raised. This is one heck of a tillage team right here. I think this thing just looks great together. Ooh, wow. Didn't realize I was coming that close to my truck. I think I'm gonna try to back it up right here. this down 
pull off the hydraulics. All right, we are good to go. So uh, I am think I'm gonna back this up. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna hook it up to the planter right away. Get this in the shop. Planter. Hopefully get to planting this afternoon. Put them pins. I really need to get a quick attach hitch for this thing. All right, shut this off. All right, we'll have to move around all the seed and everything later on. Oh, man. All right, so I was going to go up to... No. I'm going to wash my uh, truck here. Yeah, I want to wash that up here before I do anything else. I think I'm just going to lift that pressure washer over there. I'll get in my skid steer over here. Not a kid steer, a skid steer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll bow down. Bow down. All right, so we're going to get into that. And I'm going to... I don't need the hitch on. I think I got... Oh, there is our pallet. Where should we put this? Probably over by our harvester probably won't be running anytime soon okay cool thing is this has uh, attachments right on the inside here makes it extremely convenient and lifting up these things all right go over here Um, put this down. Yep. There we go. Right about there. Now I have to scoot this ahead here. Roll this thing ahead. Roll it onto our forks. There we go. Get back in here. There we go. That'll work nicely. Ooh, careful, a little bit bumpy. Don't want to lose our pressure washer. Ooh, oh, 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 man. I just got that on film. Man, I might have to edit that out. That's embarrassing. All right, I think I did it right that time. Ooh. A little bit, I guess... It's kind of hard pushing these wheels through the rocks like this, so I think I'm just going to very carefully, you know, I'm wasting all this time. I should have just drove the truck over there, washed it, but oh well. Oh well, you do what you got to do. Today I'm using a $25,000 skid steer to run around my pressure washer make sure we don't hit our toy Yoda bow down bow down bow down all right we finally got that done with that took entirely too long I don't know why we did it the hard way that was definitely not the easy way. I think I'm going to have to load some pallets later on, so I'm going to leave this right here. We get into planting, I'll have to do that. And I need to hook up the trailer and run up to the dealer. Alright, we're heading down here. Uh-oh. Holy cow, look at them weeds. Man. Might have to spray them weeds over there before we uh, get into that field. Ooh, wow. That's embarrassing. Right along the highway, too? Ugh. Gonna have to uh, spray them before the neighbors see it. So you guys are probably like, he's pulling the trailer. He's got to be purchasing something. 
You are correct. I'm going to pull right in front of our brand new sprayer right here. Look at this beast. So, I've been busy. So I've really been busy these last few days. And I have been saving and savings. And now I own an R4045. Just joking. I wish. I mean, look at this. I mean, I could have got a tracked one. No, nope. sorry. Sorry, we, we aren't to that budget yet. Not even close. Uh, probably could have parked at a better location. Don't think I'm going to be able to get anything on that trailer. Yeah. Holy cow, that wheel over there is off the ground. Yeah. What I'm purchasing somewhere, they're supposed to be getting it ready. Uh, it's an older... Let me find out where they put it at. Oh, I see it in the back right here. A haggy. So I purchased this. So this is uh, about, I think, what, eight years old? So it's an eight-year-old haggy sprayer. Uh, it's basically been, uh, they went over the whole entire thing, reconditioned it. So a local farmer basically traded this off in for one of them brand new R4045s and that now we got it so this is a four-wheel uh, hydraulic driven Haggy so all three four wheels it also has a suspension on all four wheels it has a, basically a stainless steel tank it is kind of cool no, I can't fit over here oh, fat man hazard uh oh <coughs> Oh, oh, there, there we go. Get on here, quick. Whew, that was hard. So it does have a chemical tank on the back there. It has a few more chemical tanks or variable application tanks on the back. And the engine's on the back right here. So I'm pretty sure they should be done. I think it's a 100 foot boom or 90 foot. Don't catch me lying. I'm not for sure, but uh, I'll have to ask. What do we have here? What is this? Is this a Massey? This looks like a 4292. Holy cow. Uh, I mean, look at this thing. This is almost perfect for a little chore tractor. I know I have a few chore tractors already, but man, I really want this thing. So, actually, I'm joking. So, the farmer actually did a rare. This is pretty rare when they do this. The, the farmer actually ended up trading in both of these. So, he traded in this little Massey that's only a few years old. Uh in the haggy for r4045 the only most dealerships won't take in a trade like that but they knew i was looking for a haggy and i think they knew they i'm a sucker and uh they talked me into purchasing this uh massey over here too so i know i know i know it uh, i'm gonna collect another tractor here this thing's kind of nice start this up it's got some mirrors. I mean, it's an open station. I mean, the controls, everything seems pretty simple. I just thought this would be... Uh, we can never have enough tractors. And with us possibly having uh, two cattle yards, I thought this would be a good option just in case. And uh, this is just in case our case uh, ends up breaking down. Or I guess the case is also just in case this Massey breaks down. So this is why I went and got the... thought this would be kind of convenient too so we don't always have to use our skid steer for all of our working our pallets and uh, moving them around. This would obviously be a nice mowing tractor. 
maybe we can even get our wife to mow. I know, I know, that, that, that might be pushing it a little bit, but you never know. I'm trying to take off my gooseneck up there. So I thought maybe I could do some custom spraying. That's why I went and splurged a little bit on a sprayer. I'm one of them people that believes into uh, spending a lot of money on a sprayer. Ooh, wow, I'm taking this a little bit too fast here. Yeah, I'm going crazy. But I'm one of them people that believes in uh, spending a lot of money on a planter, a lot of money on a sprayer, and a lot of money on a basically a harvester uh, that's one of the most important things in my book to making the best crop uh, purchasing the nicest tractor or brand new tractor sometimes really uh, doesn't really make you the bills the old tractor if it gets it done it's just as good but that's just my opinion just my opinion so I'll pull this in then I have to go for one more run just gonna leave this right here I'll get it offloaded here sometime got so much to do Ooh, I gotta go pick up my wife there quickly all right so now we'll go down pick up our new fertilizer tender oh, wow going all over the place here it's just down the same place where you purchase our uh, trailers at, our horse trailers, cattle trailers, whatever you want to call them. Well, I hope they're here. It's here somewhere. Oh, there we are. So. We purchased this International with a trailer. So I figured uh, this trailer would be amazing, uh, especially when I'm doing uh, custom spraying. So this trailer works great with this, uh, basically this fertilizer tender here. So we could uh, put in some application. The only thing I really wish I had was uh, a little like extension somewhere, like in the front here or something, so I could put some uh, application uh, pallets on here uh, might have to squeeze them in on this trailer somewhere I don't know but uh, it would be nice that's the only thing I really want so this was uh, all used so the truck is 10 years old trailer so this was basically used by the local co-op uh, they upgraded and uh, I upgraded myself, I guess, if you want to consider that. We'll get this home, go down to the John Deere dealership, and pick up our sprayer. Man, our team, man, that trailer is wide. Man, I think this team looks great together. Almost matches, but this thing will work out great for uh, us planting, us getting into the field goal is to hopefully get into the field today so uh, I do have a few more things to uh, accomplish here before I get into the field look at that beast hmm. just love that stainless steel tank on the back of that thing what a beast so uh, all right, so now I need to, I think I'm gonna take this old truck here, hook it up to our gooseneck, load up a few pallets. All right, so before I wanna make some changes, so I wanna take the, basically the tent off of this tractor. I just uh, don't think I'm gonna want it to use it going over the, for planting, I might, Re end up retinting it. I don't know. I, I just don't know if I like it or not. I'm going to take the tent off and basically uh, and then I have to go over and uh, put my uh, fertilizer tanks on this thing. Alright, so that's not too shabby. Uh, I don't think I did too bad of a job. Uh, 
but now we need to get our fertilizer tanks put on. I wish I would have put that on before I hooked up the... Alright, so I gotta get the Dimco tanks. I think I'm gonna try to use my new loader tractor here. That might be nice. Alright. Got our ramps put down there. Move the loader up a little bit. There we go. Almost put a scratch in my new loader here. All right, we'll go. I think I ho I'm hoping I can. Uh, oh, well, oh, driving a little bit too fast here. Hoping I can lift these up. Might have to like brace them on here or something. All right, so got this lifted up. I think we'll lay it down here on the ground. Hopefully we can get these put on our tractor. I think I'm gonna take our tractor out here, uh, get it, get some tools from our Stanley here. You know, Stanley used to make really, uh, let's say, cheap uh, tools, and they kind of upgraded their tool selection so far. They aren't the best, but they aren't. They're far from the last, that's for sure. All right, so I think we'll start this tractor up. All right, checking the hydraulics right there. Everything looks good. Now we just have to drive. Ooh, miss that, that's for sure. Let's hit that, that would be expensive. Go, we just drive right on here. All right, now we gotta lift them up on there. All right, so I got that lifted up. Let me uh, go uh, crank this down here. This is dangerous. Don't do this at home. Ooh, uh, bolt this down right there. All right, we are good. Put one bolt in. Uh, can't get over there. Don't wanna go under the motor. I'll go right over here. All right, there we go. It's on there, now I just have to hook up my hose connection, and we should have herbicide run into our planter. Yeah, there we go. Nice little tractor. I think I might just uh, try to sneak it in here. I use this to uh, load them pallets up on our seed tender. Try to back this up as best as possible. Jack that up, because this truck is a high boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He might scrape some dirt right there. Uh, it'll have to do. It'll have to do. Kind of wish I this wasn't lifted some days, because I think it'd be easier uh, using it as a farm truck. All right. Get that pallet on there. Nice and slow. A lot of weight for Little Red here. Hoping I can get it. There we go. Hoping to be able to. Ooh, a little bit too fast. Red is a little jumpy today. Alright. Right, get it. Try to get it over there to the other side of the trailer, that is. Man, you can really tell how much that trailer is slanted. There we go. That's our first pallet on there. Just take a little red over here. Our second, eh, we gotta line up here first. Probably take that one up in front. Go. Uh, uh, 
Oh, did we got it? There we go. It's so hard to see. You can't really see down and see where your forks are at. You kind of have to just feel it. Some of them forklift operators, man, they are talented. Tell you what, them guys that do this all day long, man, do they ever have a lot of talent. All right. Little Red got it done. I think uh, two pallets will be enough for us today, at least. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm messing up my perfect pile here. There we go. Well, I'm a dangerous man driving that thing, that's for sure. All right, we'll get this to the field and hopefully start in. Alright, looks like we're ready to go. Start heading off. Definitely can't skirt through the trees with this thing. That would be a bad day. It, it doesn't look like these tanks really uh, hurt my view too bad, which I kind of like. They're kind of up in the middle of nowhere. Uh, they are kind of an inconvenience when you're getting in and out of the cab, but I think the weight will really hold down the, the tractor here. We don't have our hazards on, do we? Looks like my cousin still hasn't made it around this side of the field yet. Oops, looks like I forgot my seed boxes. Got to shut them quickly here. All right, I think we're ready to go. Get this thing unfolded here. All right, uh, I think we can start heading off here. I think everything is set. I need to make sure all this is turned on. All right, we are planting away now. There we go. Planting about uh, eight mile an hour here. Fairly quick planter. We will uh, run back there and check our seed depth. So I don't know if I told you this, but we're planting corn. All right, turn that off. Run out here quickly. Make sure, dig up some seed here. All right, I think we are uh, doing pretty good, actually. So I think we can start heading off here quickly. Man. I really like this planter. I like three-point planters just because they are so easy to maneuver. Uh, easy to turn like here. Uh, other than the extra weight and strain it puts on your tractor, it is pretty convenient to have a uh, three-point hitch like this. These tanks, even though they don't exactly match, I think they match the the international harvester uh, planter here pretty nicely but kind of work with that they don't really match the tractor so most tanks you see are yellow but we got white tanks I, I kind of like the little uh, matching team I think it looks nice make sure looks like all of our rolls are planting here
right now we are doing the outside headlands basically because uh, this planter has auto row shut off or auto section shut off. It doesn't roll, it's each individual roll. Ours is split up into sections of four. So it has four sections of four rolls that'll shut off. But basically it will shut off once we get to the end there and make sure we don't have any overlap. That's why we're doing that outside pass first. All right, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you're still watching, you are a true fan. Thank you. I really enjoy making these videos for you. Uh, if you have any uh, issue, if you have uh, something you'd like to see me do or you want me to do better, just let me know in the comments below. If you need to roast me down in the comments. Go ahead and do so. I know I say stuff wrong once in a while. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I truly am. But uh, thank you all for watching. And I will see you later here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.